So when we talk about heuristics and analysis, this is the part we need to understand. Mm. What are we analyzing? Whom are we analyzing for? And one of the key things that I, when I speak to people, you know, uh, all these designers, they come in, something they miss on is that, hey, you know, we have read that, you know, you need to have empathy, you need to be, understand the user. Mm. But we also need to understand that human as we are, we all come with a predefined perspective that are called biases. Biases, yeah. It's it's all natural because it all depends on the way you have been brought up, the environment you have lived in, the experience mm. you have had. And no single person has the same experience. Mm. Right? It's all defined by that. Right? And if you look at, you know, let's say, takes let's continue with the example of Uber. For you and for us, like Uber is very easy to use. Yeah. Because, well, for us, when we were growing up, for us, technology was evolving, mm. right? From a black and white TV to a color TV, then, you know, getting that small Nokia phone, Reliance coming into industry and yeah. revolutionizing. Yeah. And we've been around that technology, right? Our parents were in an era like where it's post independence, right? It's lot more post independence and they were in an era where for them having a stable and strong foundation was important yeah that's why i see when people talk about you know careers in doctor engineering or government jobs you have to understand it's not like you know that is something they're forcing upon it's just the way yeah. they have seen the world like exactly. when they were growing up they saw that all these successful people come from like these backgrounds Absolutely. Like yeah. You become an engineer. Yeah. You get paid. You become a government servant. Yeah. You have like life set. Yeah. It's a buy. Like you said, perspective. It's a bias. It's a mold that comes in. Absolutely. I mean, that is how they grew up, right? Even I relate to it because I had to do some convincing on my part, my parents, because for them, it was, I also come from a, background where uh, my dad happens to be the only person who was educated who went to college and whoever worked in a company and then my mom uh, she did not even complete schooling right it was and both of them coming from a farming background so it for them what they have seen is like you said is either doctors either engineers either ye, uh, IAS IPS yeah. job groups exam liklo it's because that were, those were respectable positions back then yeah. and that is how they have you know formed their opinions like you're saying biases right yeah so the I same way we also have now in this er, in this era we have a uh, lot of biases location lifestyle language music whatever we feed ourselves with somehow forms an opinion we form an opinion we have preferences we have uh, likes dislikes etc etc imagine like in today's age a two-year-old can operate an iphone or touch exactly. device fully exactly <laughs> my my niece i'm living here and my niece is just three years old she just turned three and she can operate iphone she can operate an ipad she knows where the pictures are. She can understand which icon to click, to tap on so that she can go to YouTube and to her favorite YouTube channel <laughs> and to her favorite video. Yep. So, you know what? I'll just share one example. I said, this is the last time you're watching this video and we are done. I'm taking the phone. Okay. Last week I said this to her. She said, okay. And the moment the seek bar comes to the end of it, she'll just drag it to the first, to the beginning. <laughs> and I mean, I cannot even imagine doing that, just the thought of it. Like, but see, that's the fun part about kids, right? Yeah. Kids don't have biases because they are like, they are still, you know, learning. They yeah. are exploring. Yeah. That's where like that, when people say, you know, have a kid's, mentality mm. this is what they mean that you know you need to be able to explore you need to be able to experiment and 
in UX, when we talk about analysis, heuristic analysis, I don't know how many people know, but there are like eight to 10 different kinds of uh, heuristic analytics frameworks yeah. in market. <laughs> like there's yeah. Dieter Rams uh, principles and there's uh, Nelson Norman's like, uh, you know, the uh, 10 heuristics. But all of these heuristics, right? You can, like, you can learn a lot of theory. You can look at all these things. But you need to understand the key point of doing all the analysis is to understand why certain decisions were made. Mm. Why is a user making this decision? Mm. Right? Or what is the possibility of the decision that a user would make on this screen or this interface? Mm. 